Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this December 12th. Beautiful day here on Wednesday. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Hello, hello. All right. Well, let me tell you, it, um, let's get right into talking about Court really quick. Um, Court was a phenomenal stock we traded yesterday in the afternoon. Just want to kind of show you everyone here. Uh, news came out on the stock. Beautiful, beautiful Fausto flag right there. It was like writing on the wall. This is this is this is Cyber Trade University 101 trading right there. And then the stock literally just popped. And remember, to start at two o'clock. We did the meeting at two thirty. I end up chasing the stock, you know, um, all the way up here, right around the sixteen dollar price. I think it was like fifteen eighty one. I paid, and um, everyone had time to get into it. You had all the way up until I don't know, maybe an hour to see this come to fruition. And then, sure enough, the stock went up. Now, I held the stock overnight. Now, you know, I'm not, remember, rule is you don't hold the stocks overnight unless you could afford to lose it all tomorrow. But I did hold the stock overnight because I liked it. It looked very strong, and I had a very good position in it. Well, right now, you can see I'm up about 3600 on that trade, and I think I'm going to sell it now. Um, I'm still debating on it. There was a, if, you, if you guys were watching a little bit earlier – uh, here's some big orders here in the iceberg orders, but the stock had unbelievable refreshing going on. So let me just bring this up really quick to a one minute chart. If you saw that I wrote in the chat, you could see it right there. We had a little bit of a hiccup right here and it backed off, but, um, but there was a lot of refreshing going on right there. And, um, you know, it was a great, great move right there. Now oh, there, there she goes. Look, looks like, looks like she's going to probably pop. I, I was, I was almost pretty close to sell at 19, but I says, you know what? Look at all these orders. They're getting executed here in the offer. I saw some big orders here in time and sales getting refreshed. And I don't know what happened, but I was watching it. You guys were here. We were watching it right here, right around 8.30. And all of a sudden, somebody must have came in and just bought a huge block of it. The thing just took off. Okay, now she's at 9.15. So the stock is extremely, extremely strong. Now, you're probably asking, where are we going to sell this position? Well, listen, I'm playing with house money right now. Probably going to focus somewhere around 20. I thought 19 was resistance, but I don't know where the hell this candle bar came in. Someone who came in, it was hovering around 18, you know, 17, 1788. I was going to sell it. Next thing you know, I turned around, thing took off. So anyway, we're doing pretty good on that trade. And, uh, and I know some of you guys did great on it yesterday, but you could have jumped in early this morning. And uh, it still looks really strong. So remember what I always tell you. You know what? If you're afraid of chasing... And you're a thousand share trader. It's okay. You could trade five hundred. You could trade a hundred. You know what I mean. But listen, be part of the glory, and that's the key. All right. Now there are a couple of other stocks I want to get into really quick regarding, but that was really the nicest one yesterday that made a big move. ASTC, which Ken just mentioning up right now. There's a little bit of a Fausto flag billion built on it. Uh, it is starting to make a little bit of a move right here. Stock is gapped up about fifty percent. One million shares already traded. Over a million shares. You know what? I'm just a little skeptical on it. It doesn't have a big push, Ken, like the court. Um, unfortunately, at 8 o'clock this morning, we really didn't get that much other than this one. Moved a little bit this morning at 8, 8 o'clock. It went from uh, three three ninety five all the way to about 4, 4.30. She started backing off. She started making lower lows. So the ACTC, I know you got a position in it, but uh, it, I, like I just said earlier in the chat, it's got, it's got to break this resistance level. It's having a tough time breaking that resistance. And most importantly, look how beautiful this stock. Look, look at this, uh, look at this uh, matrix over here. Look at the level three. It's like, a, it's like a Christmas tree of all different orders, so it's very easy to spot the iceberg order. So keep an eye on that one. ABIL is another one we found this morning that's moving. Um, she gapped up pretty nicely. She was up a lot a long time ago. Some of you remember we traded this stock back over here. Uh, let me just bring, let me just fix this chart really quick. Here's the time frame over here. Okay, so some of you remember. There we go. Okay, so we trade the stock back in July, um, and the stock went from two dollars all the way up to about fifteen dollars. Those are big short squeeze. So we know the stock does have a short squeeze. So knowing just see how it trades, and we 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 I teach you this in class how it works. But let's keep a close eye on that trade. If it does, do it again. But always remember, take the money and run. All right, uh, another one, uh, NBIX is moving too also this morning. 
This is another one that took a big, big hit, and it's coming back a little bit, so a little dead cat bounce right there. But once again, biosciences, we know pharmaceutical stocks don't really come back. Anything that has to do with anything that has to do in the uh, medical field. So we always be careful of that one. Uh, this one was pretty interesting, Barclays. I never trade Barclays, but kind of made my – you could see it's a very gappy stock. It runs the trades. It kind of like sits there in the middle of the day. It's kind of a gappy stock. So it's gapped up pretty big. It's been taking a big hit lately. I don't know. For all the level one traders, beginners that don't really, you know, a little nervous of getting a position, maybe this might be up your up your sleeve. AEO is another one that's moving pretty nicely. Uh, took a big hit, had a great move right here after hours. You know, American Eagle Outfitters taking a nice little hit right here, but she went down, she went up, she came back down in after hours. And you know, I'm not a big after hours guy. I'm a, I'm a pre. We're all a, a pre market type of trader. And uh, but she's got some decent volatility. It's a little bit of a brand name stock. It does get some shakes in it, so you just got to be a little careful on trading the stock a little bit. All right, uh, Urban Alpha, as we trade the stock before. And last, um, well, actually, no, there's one more. R A R X is another one that we found this morning. This one is pushing up very, very nicely. A little bit of a sleeper. Spreads a little bit big. I'm not too excited about the level three orders out there, but she is moving, uh, moving pretty nicely right there. Nice little push. Another one. Came from nowhere, um, did an 8.30 move, ran from 15, uh, 1660 to 17.30. She still looks pretty strong going to this close. You got resistance levels over here right around in the high 18s, 18. So looks like we still got room for, um, for uh, movement there. All right, so what do we got? We got to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stocks. So we're looking pretty good right there. That's not bad for, you know, mid-December. You know, what it would say is the 12. So we only got about, guys, remember, Christmas is, you know, right around the corner, less than two weeks away. And uh, we're probably going to be like this, uh, good volatility going to midweek, especially all this news that comes out of Washington, you know, <laughs> tariffs, this, that. Marcus has been a roller coaster, but it's been a, it's been a fun day trading. But we got our winners out there. Listen, get, regarding about the court traded one more time, I just want to kind of just remind everybody. The way we got court, okay, remember, we don't get these stocks, you know, every single day. Like, we have seven stocks out there. We always get new ones that will jump up. But it's all about being at the right place at the right time. If you came in at 2.30 meeting, you could have jumped in, you could have got in. Everybody here should have made at least a point on this trade in CORT, minimum a point. So the thing is, you know, uh, you got to be here, you got to trade. And if you feel a little nervous, remember, you don't have to trade a lot of shares to make it to be, to, you know, to get, to get very successful at it. You just got to be consistent. All right. Anything I'm missing, guys, that I did not call out? Anything? All right. So I'm going to keep a close eye on this, uh, on this court. If it gets anywhere below, I don't know, 1850, I'm going to sell it. But uh, I want to see how it's, it's going into the open. Usually, remember, we don't trade going between 9.15 and 9.30. This is where I do all these crazy shakes. But uh, if she holds pretty strong right here, uh, I'll hold it going to the close. But if she gets anywhere close to 8.15, I don't know if anyone's logged in with me. I'm going to get out and take that profit and move on and, uh, you know, and see what happens we find going into the uh, later on this morning. All right, everybody? Okay, guys, good, listen, good luck to everyone. Happy trading. See you back here at 2.30.